How's it going guys? In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to perform something that I call a double slap stroke. Now, you may well have heard guys like Victor Wooten or Marcus Miller, or you know people who play that kind of music do something similar to this. Basically, it sounds like this. So you might hear it a lot of the time used as a kind of a ghost note in a line if you got. That sort of thing happening. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm using, as ever when we slap, this part of the thumb, and I'm trying to go just kind of across the face of the string. Um, but what I'm doing basically, as I hit the string, I'm using the tension in the string to let my thumb rebound. So I want to try and keep my hand nice and relaxed as I do this. Hit that string, let the thumb rebound, and then as it rebounds, just rotate back in for a second stroke. So there's the thumb. You want to rotate in. Let's turn my volume down. Rotate in, hit the string once, it'll rebound back up a little bit, and then you rotate in again. So you get this kind of effect. And what you'll probably notice is on the first strike of it, I'm not trying to go through the string as much as I am as the second. So first, hit the string, rebound up, second one, rebound and go through. This can be quite a tricky technique to, to master and to get right. So what I'd suggest you do, first of all, is practice slowly as ever. Just practice the movement and the, the actual coordination within your plucking hand to, to get that done. But also one thing that will really help is trying to maintain a really relaxed hand position. If you're trying to tense up and everything, it actually makes it really difficult for this rebound effect to work. Because if you're really tense as you're going into that, your thumb probably won't rebound if your arm is so tense because the muscle tension is actually keeping that hand locked in so it can't really rebound. The really important thing to grasp here is that the, um, the more relaxed you are, the better the, the rebound off the string will be. So give this technique a go. It's a little bit tricky, but have some patience and it can give you some really, really cool effects, some really cool sounds. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon for another lesson. Take care.